that's unique. Well, you know, you millennials, okay? And I can say that because I'm like the last year of Generation Y. Um, one of our Valentine's yeah. students posted something his, his twin 13 year olds on it. And he posted up like, teenager for sale can text 200 words per minute, blah, 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 trying to make that. TJ, when I hear you make so many of those uh, text messages like that verbally, I always wonder if you ever catch yourself out at dinner being like, I think you're really great, period. I text you saying it's fine. I'm the cops so that I can't text, so I always voice text. Yeah. I have, I have an hour ride each way every day. It's the punctuation. Not yeah. everyone gets the punctuation. Exclamation point, exclamation point, <laughs> exclamation point. You know, I'm really excited if I'm going to say it three times. All right. You good? Probably not. Good. But you know what the difference is. I have to run downstairs. No, no. Do what you got to do. Is Zoom land up and running? Yeah, Zoom. Okay. I'm there. If everyone can find it, that'd be great. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Rach. Let's see who we got here. All right, all right. Okay, cool. All right, we'll get started in two minutes, guys. What's everybody doing? That sucked. Everybody have a good weekend? Yes. Yeah? What'd you guys do? Anything fun? No? I had an apple pie baking contest with my kids. Who won? Um, Michaela, my middle <laughs> child. I had a Nerf gun war with a bunch of nine-year-olds. Oh, that's the best. And I whooped their butts. <laughs> <laughs> so those of you guys don't know, I have a nine-year-old son. And uh, so our COVID project, um, I, I like to do little handy things. And so uh, our COVID project is we built a gun wall in our house. And it's eight feet by three feet. It's pretty big. And it's loaded with Nerf guns. Nice. So, like, we are like the neighborhood, like, hangout spot that all the other kids come over. We have, we have like 12 boys on my street between the ages of like seven and 13. So, have you seen those YouTube videos? <laughs> my son watches one. There's a, a guy at the PK and he has so many Nerf guns that he actually modifies them. Really? I'll send you a link. So um, they watch Dude Perfect. Uh, I don't know if you've uh, heard of that. Yeah, yeah. They they built a giant Nerf gun pull it like this. They threw like a plate glass window. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we're not getting that. All right, one more minute, we'll get going. What else you guys get going on? Anything fun and exciting? I ran my first marathon. Whoa. Yeah. Thank you. I was like, I don't believe this for a second. I was some Fitbit. It me a couple of weeks. You see Terry sitting in his boat going like this. Yeah, it is a win. There you go. There you go. All right. So we'll go ahead and get started. It's 11 o'clock. <laughs> All right, cool. We'll go ahead and get started, guys. Um, so welcome to our last team meeting of September. Um, I hope everyone is doing well. Um, before we jump into this, who's involved with Mega Camp last year? We're going to talk a little bit about Mega Camp last year. Last week, is anybody involved in Mega Camp? Okay, um, all of the um, uh, breakout sessions, all of the state of the company, um, we're going to have some access to that for the next 60 days. So, regardless if you guys were there or not, 
um, want to see some of the stuff that's coming up and some of the changes um, that are happening inside of Keller Williams right now. Um, we're going to actually be rolling out um, a new model. So you guys know, if you're, you may you guys have heard of what a dependent model is, what an independent model is, and Keller Williams has always been this interdependent model. And so we're going to be making a few modifications and changes and one that we're going to be talking about today um, to really benefit you guys as agents and help you out with your business. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started. Before we jump into this, um, I just want to take a moment. Um, and um, guys, um, our operating principal, Kent Temple, um, and his son, Hunter, and a bunch of our other agents, team leaders, operating principals, are down in Pensacola, Florida right now. Um, they are down there for relief um, and helping out and to assist. They're planning to come back on Thursday. If you guys don't know about what's happened um, down in the Gulf, obviously we had Laura and, San and Sally, I believe it was, back-to-back uh, -back storms. Uh, they've been doing this, they were doing this for two weeks and then they just got pummeled with another one. And so uh, our leadership has gone down to help out the Southeastern region uh, because uh, let's face it, if you guys don't know, we've got a lot of uh, hurricane experience, especially out on the coast. So I just wanted to just, you know, keep them in your thoughts and your prayers. Uh, they're out there basically doing what's right for our agents. And um, it's just, it's something that's really near and dear to my heart. And I think it really speaks to the Keller Williams culture. So just wanted to share that with you guys briefly. Um, now let's get rolling. It's not. Okay. Tell me something good. Tell me something good that you guys got going on in your businesses right now. What you got? Okay, I'll start. <laughs> um, so if anybody wants to venture down into the South Park area, um, we, my team is throwing a broker open this Thursday from four to six or seven. Becca, thank you so much for coming to the last broker open at this house. It's a $2.2 million property. So if you guys want to get a look at a luxury property, downtown South Park, guys, please come. I already paid for the charcuterie board and everything else. Um, come check it out. You'll get some good interaction with some other top producing agents in and around the area. So that's something good I got going on. What do you guys get going on? What you got, Beck? I had a client reach out to me yesterday. They were a fast client. Sold their house with someone else that I helped buy them, which hurt. It hurt. Um, it's good old truth and money, though, so I can't, you know, sometimes you just can't compete. Um, but, and he called me to buy his next one. Awesome. So, obviously, I made a really good impression on the buy side, and even though he chose to be someone else's cell home, uh, he's choosing to be the next one. Awesome. Congratulations. So yeah, good, good example of not giving up on the person or talking nasty to the person. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. What else we got going on? We got Chris Zobie in the house from South Park. Hey, What's up, Chris? Uh, stop by. Hope you're at an appointment. Uh, <laughs> my favorite people. Uh, living the lake life. We, we miss you, buddy. Yeah. We miss you. What else? What else? Okay. Can we see if I can recognize, I know I see one. Do we have any guests in the house today? Who are you? What do you do? Lisa Bass with Legal Shield. I am the provider of your legal and identity theft voluntary benefits. It's here today because your free ID shield is ending the end of this month. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm here today so that you can talk to me about it. Awesome, cool. Let's welcome Lisa, guys. All right, who is this their first team meeting? Would you guys stand up and introduce yourselves to everybody, please? Nikki, we'll start with you. I'm Nikki, or call me Nicole, either one. Um, I just signed up yesterday. And so this is my very first day in the state. Welcome, <laughs> awesome. Warren? I am Warren. Um, I joined about three weeks ago, and Got MLS access this morning, which I was excited about. And yeah, I'm ready to get started. Awesome, yeah. cool. Welcome, Warren. <laughs> Literally our newest member. Yeah, I'm Lexi. I signed up like all night. <laughs> 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 so this is my first day. Awesome. Welcome, Lexi. 
Who are you guys? Awesome. And, and I want to say a really cool piece about these guys. Uh, if you guys know Lindsay Kendrick, she was our provisional broker of the month last month. Um, these guys have not gotten their MLS access up and running and super access, or maybe we do now. And Lindsay went out and opened up a door for them last week. So I know she's not here today, but I thought that was awesome show of our culture. So kudos to Lindsay as well. Did I miss anybody? Anybody hiding around the corner? Nope. All right. Move it on. All right, so we're going to welcome all of our new agents. And Nola, will you please stand up and be recognized? All right. So you, we just didn't have your picture in time for the last time. So, and then Peter. Austin and Noel. Keep clapping, guys. Demetrius, in the back. Um, Noel, there you are, sorry. Um, we didn't have your picture. Uh, Tony T and Wendy Hicks, I do not see them here, but let's give them a round of applause but anyways. Noel, Oren, and Renee and Alicia, who are not be here. So, um, a lot of, lot of fresh blood coming in, guys. So, um, look at the, uh, birthday list that we've got. We've got a lot of birthdays going on. Um, so, okay, Oren just comes right in just in time for his birthday. Um, so, guys, let's make sure um, we say happy birthday to all of these folks. Um, it will be up on the Facebook pages. Everybody on our social media? Okay. Um, get with your bestie. I know she says that to everybody, but get with your bestie. So if you're my not... favorite. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you're not on the Facebook, Twitter page, and everything else that we have under the sun social media-wise. Um, I do want to recognize... Um, this list, this is our regional list. Uh, so we break up into three different categories here at Keller Williams, an individual agent, a team, meaning two people in production, or a group, which is three or more people in production. And I wanna recognize, number one, the Lucas uh, Realty Group out of our Huntersville Business Center for making top five for teams. So congratulations to them. Our top, uh, also number eight for team, Christy Walker. <laughs> it's all Meg. She's the marketing person. Um, I also want to recognize um, number 10 for groups, Leslie Easton Real Estate out in our Boone Business Center. Congratulations to her. And last but definitely not least, the Sarver Group. I saw some of them peeking around the corner. No? Um, okay, uh, for being number eight, and I believe you're joining this group as well, Lexi. So congratulations to Sarva Group. Um, we do not have an expansion team here in our office. Um, we, I'm sorry, we do have an expansion team here in our office. Before Deb throws something at me, uh, UHG, UHG is our expansion partner um, here at the lake. Sorry about that brain fart. Um, guys, this is out of North and South Carolina combined. There's over 9,000 agents in this mix here out of 44 different market centers. So to be in the top 10, that's huge. So we'll give them one more round of applause. Great job, guys. All right. So I do not see him here, but Carlos Paz just closed on a personal property for himself. Um, he is our provisional broker of the month. If you guys have not met him yet, get to know him. Um, originally from Honduras and speaks two languages, obviously English and Spanish. Um, so let's give Carlos a round of applause. <laughs> this next person is going to be our broker of the month. Um, this guy is six months or so to our office. Rock star. Um, he's always in script practice, always in the coaching groups. Um, just a real good beacon of light here in our market. And so, guys, help me welcome Tom Maddox. Please come on up. Come on up, buddy. That's you. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Thanks for all you do for our market center. <laughs> all right, Sue, are you with us? I don't know if she is. All right, Amber, you're up. Ooh. Yay! I get to go first. That's fun. 
didn't give me any time to like think about it. All right, guys, so excited. You know, you've heard me talk about this for a long time. I feel like a broken record. I'm like training, 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 right? But that's what K well, one of the reasons that a lot of people come to KW, you stay for the culture because it's absolutely amazing. But the training is where we have it at. And next month in October, starting on the 5th, we have a new Ignite series that we are going to be offering. It is a working workshop. So the other day I was telling, isn't there like another slide? I don't know how to, if I push just a button, it, it's gonna blow up. Nope. <laughs> Click what? Oh, ta-da, oh, look at that, so cute. So I was telling somebody the other day about how this is going to work. It's 8.30 to nine scripts and role play, nine to 11 lead generation. This is the time that you're going to be working on things that are actually going to make you money and getting pieces of business in process, right? So what, how awesome to be able to go to a training, listen to the best of the best and be able to work right alongside of them. These people are coming from our region. It's going to be different instructors every day. You're going to get to hear personal experience along with a class at 11 o'clock. Um, and 12 o'clock and then some tech lessons as well afterwards. Speaking of tech lessons, a little off subject, but Sue, our tech trainer, is going to be doing a Q&A every Thursday at 2 o'clock. New agents especially invited to join into that, ask questions, learn what other people around you are looking to, um, you know, get their questions answered and you can learn from that and, and ask your own questions. So it's a powwow. Um, I think Peter was part of the brainstorming behind this and Priscilla Newbold, some of our new people. So make sure that you're in on that. This is gonna start in October. You're gonna get an email from me to enroll. You're also gonna get an email from the person that is running this asking you to come. So let's make sure we do that. So Amber, is this only for new agents? This is for everyone. Sparks is going to be a lot of like how-to information, elementals. So you're going to do two weeks of Spark. You're going to get all of this awesome um, training. And then this is designed to help you get a piece of business in the works the right way with all the right tools. And then you graduate to elementals and that is designed to help you work through that piece of business with the best customer service and making sure that you're dotting all the t or dotting all the i's and crossing all the t's i think i think i tend to dot the, the t's and cross the i's so that's okay it works for me i force go my way through life it's cute so the last thing that i want to tell you without taking too much of your time is i've been working very hard on a better way to communicate to you when these trainings are available we have our kw connect calendar that you can go into and see and register them i've also created a gmail calendar you will get an invite to this i don't know if you know this but your kw email is run through gmail through google suite so i'm going to create a google calendar and send you invites. You'll be able to bring that calendar in, bring it right up on with the rest of your stuff and see when the classes are, but you'll still need to register for them in KW Connect. More on that later. Thanks so much. You guys know the definition of graduating from Ignite? No. A bunch of sales. <laughs> 16 transactions in a 12 month window is actually the definition of graduating from Ignite. So um, I know a lot of people are like, ah, I've been through Ignite, or I've been through Camp 441, the, what was it? Camp 441. 441, before the 411. Too many numbers going on. It wasn't a 401 either. <laughs> and so, and this is actually the third installment of Ignite. So they're continuing to update these things constantly. I know it says 2.0, but it's actually the third installment of it. Um, guys, come back and take this again. If you guys know, have ever heard of out in Newburn, North Carolina, there's a team called Team Donna, and they're one of the top 10 teams in our region. Every single time they roll out Ignite, her team is required to take it. So there may be some good information in there, even if you've already been through it once before. So check it out. Terry, All right. our compliance director, Terry. Hey, I'm gonna not yell at anybody. Good morning, everybody. No, actually quite the opposite. I don't want to say good job. I mean, here lately, uh, the files have been looking very, very good. Uh, and I appreciate that. That makes my job a lot easier. And uh, um, 
also, we had some uh, compliance class this past Friday. Thanks, Oren, uh, was in here in person. There were several admin people in, in Zoom land participating. Um, and one question kept coming up, uh, and, and let me just um, uh, get you to maybe check your emails. We get weekly bulletins from the Real Estate Commission, and they clarified Form 760, uh, otherwise known as the Professional Services Disclosure, very well. It's a risk management tool. And we're all about reducing risk in our life, right? So that's exactly the purpose of Form 760 is to reduce the risk. You prove that you have a discussion with your buyers primarily, it could be your sellers, but primarily the buyers. And you go over a list of things that could be done uh, in conjunction with purchasing the house from obviously home inspections to surveys to termite inspections, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and it, it's something that uh, I kept getting the questions in the compliance class. Can we wait till after we get past due diligence to turn that in? No, no. The purpose of it is to make sure you get everything done before due diligence. So they're yes or no questions. Yes, do you want a survey? Yes, do you want a home inspection? Or, or it could be no. Uh, yes, do you want a pest inspection? Uh, if it's not FHA, they're not required, I believe, uh, if I'm not uh, mistaken. So uh, you ask these questions and it's yes or no. It's okay if you put to be determined or to be, to be arranged as far as the vendor. You may not know who the vendor is besides the attorney and the lender the first few days. That's okay but it, the answer yes or no, do you want this service is something the agents uh, should be asking and you should be getting an answer to in the first few days. So turning this uh, form 760 professional services disclosure in within the first week, yes, is expected. Please don't wait till after due diligence. Um, what we're finding out and I even talked with Rob about this is if you don't order a survey almost day one, the surveys are about four weeks out now. So if your client wants a survey and they say yes, if you wait two or three weeks to ask them that question, guess what? It's not getting done before closing. So look good in front of your clients, reduce the risk management and have those discussions in the first few days of going under contract. That's my tip of the day. Thank you guys. Thanks, Unless chasing your tail later, right? Yes. And as somebody who is currently under contract on a house, he is right about the survey. My, my lender had me order it the day we went under contract. So, Rob Pettit, our broker in charge. Come on. Right. And thank you, Terry, for just talking about that form because we broke that down in our provisional broker meeting a little bit more. So, good timing on that. All right. Um, my update here is the Real Estate Commission extended the um, continuing education requirement for 90 days. And that means that you have one week left. Uh, because that expires on September 30th. So you met, had to make sure you did four hours of gen up and then four hours of an elective. So if you're not sure if you already did those, please come and check with me because your license will be inactive if you don't, if those CE credits are not up to date. Post licensing extension. Also, um, since on July 1st, you have 18 months to get rid of the provisional on your broker's license. So just keep that in mind. Uh, if you have, if that deadline is coming up for you, you can do all those online. And um, that was it. That's the last one. If you need to need a refresher on which, how many credits you need um, for your requirement, just let me know. And I'll look it up on the commission's website. Thank you. All right. Now we'll hear from Katrina with our productivity coaching program. Hope you guys are all doing well. I know I've got to meet quite a few of you guys and I appreciate it. Um, I, I want to talk a little bit about the productivity coaching program. Productivity coaching program, our goal is to help you with accountability, give you the sources, um, the tools, the guidance, go over your 401, your GPS, everything like that. Those are words that we went over this morning. But it's not the one that's going to also hold your hand through contract to close. That's why we have amazing um, broker in charge. We have an amazing compliance officer that are there to help you through a lot of the contract. I am there to help you through a lot of the hiccups and the due diligence questions, different things like that. We're going to teach you how to do that. My job is getting you in production, production as fast as possible with the right sources so that you guys are not doing all the um, shiny objects. 
that agents always fall through, on, uh, through in comparison themselves to other agents. Well, they're doing this, they're doing that. It's individualized to figure out what Oren wants to do or what Deb wants to do in the program. So if anybody's interested, um, let me know. We are breaking it out come October. We are going to be separating a little bit for those that actually have production to those that are brand new so that we're not learning the same things so that the ones that have production can go down the road of figuring out, okay, what are my after actions? What are my resources? What are my tools? What are my post-closing plans? What do I do once I'm under contract? So we're gonna be tailoring out a little more specific to be more hands-on, as well as we're getting back into in-office lead generating as a group. So um, please let me know if anybody's interested. I'd love to talk to you a little more about that. Uh, with our new ALC that's coming on board next year, we are going to be rolling out a mentor program. The leadership's going to be sitting down next month and figuring out exactly what that mentorship uh, program is going to look like. Um, obviously, it's going to be a requirement of ALC members, but if there is anyone else that is interested in being a mentor, uh, please come and see me. Okay, just FYI. So, thank you guys. CC Michael. Yeah. Should we generate with uh, Katrina and get the contract to close with Robin Terry? What do I do? Hey, hey. hey. All right, yes. <laughs> and y'all have been amazing. Through this year, we have been, even before COVID and the transition to a digital world, we were already starting that. We you know, wires, direct deposit, all kinds of things. Uh, this month, we're focus, focusing on transition, transitioning from uh, classic email interchange about uh, your final uh, disbursement authorization, your DA, that breaks down uh, what, what you get paid, your final in your bank account money, and moving all that into command in preparation for the final ship for the entire process from start to finish in command. We've had some growing pains with that, and I love that. Um, we've actually got one of my favorite people who called me out when I had forgotten to provide instructions. Kristen, she's been amazing asking me questions. We have others of our, our directors, op directors of operations as well, Jessica and Danielle with the Cyber Group. They've been so fantastic to say, you didn't tell us how to do this. Oh, I forgot. So I made videos. They're coming out today. <laughs> um, so we definitely get that done. And that's a huge shout out to our operations. Uh, teams within our market centers that are growing. Um, I saw Becca a few minutes ago. She just recently hired a new director, uh, executive administrator uh, for her team. I love it. Oh, Claudia, you're right there. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, Becca was in the, in the back and I was looking for her. So sorry. So I love to see that growth in our market center because these are the people who spend day in, day out in that entire detail process, all those details that sometimes agents don't like to focus on. <laughs> So they are absolutely my biggest support um, in getting things uh, transitioned as we're moving through command and it's, it's growing and getting better. So I love that so much. Um, quick announcement for anybody who is a veteran agent who may still be using Market Leader or the old E-Edge system uh, through Keller Williams, that system will no longer be supported as of December 31st this year. So if you're still using that system and haven't made the transition, you've got about three months to to get that worked out. So please let us know if you're still using eEdge or Market Leader. Please let us know so we can get you in touch with Sue in particular to get you transitioned over and familiar with command and using all the amazing features. Questions? Awesome. Thank you. Oh, thanks, the transition from eEdge to command is not difficult if any of you guys are still using eEdge because um, I figured out how to do it like two years ago. So we know that that's. Um, task. Okay, so upcoming training and events that we've got going on. Um, we've got Terry teaching his forms class today. Um, guys, please be there. You, I promise you, you will have an aha. You will take um, something, something great away from that class in regards to your forms. Um, these are, you know, the forms that we don't pay attention to until we're under a contract on something. And then we have a question and then we run to Rob and we run to Terry, right? So come to the class. Um, I promise you guys, it will be well worth your while. Um, as we know, we have scripts every morning with Katrina. Um, tomorrow, two o'clock, um, we're having a measuring class in here on how to measure homes. Okay, um, it's gonna be with uh, Matt Benton with Measure America. Uh, this is somebody that um, he's actually a Keller Williams agent and he runs this company. He actually runs a team of people that measure houses. Uh, I use him on all of our properties when we measure for my team. It's a great 
It's a great resource. It's also a great little um, safety. Uh, Terry was talking about liability. I can't talk today. Terry was talking about liability. If there was a situation where you were off on your measurements, the buyer could sue the seller because of misrepresentation. What's the seller gonna say? Oh, my agent, Peter, he measured the house for me, right? So they're gonna say, sue him, don't sue me. Peter's gonna say, hey, I use this third party company, sue them, don't sue me. So it's an extra layer of liability. I think they start at $65 a house. It's not very expensive. He is gonna come in here and teach about measuring and then um, probably give a little promo for himself. And um, those of you that plan to be in-house, uh, Preston Sandlin with Home Inspection Carolinas is gonna be providing lunch tomorrow as well. So um, just FYI. Um, a CES class, Magnify Your Mission on the 23rd. That's tomorrow as well. Tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. Um, Mega Camp wrap up. Um, if you guys went to Mega Camp, um, the lovely Christy Walker, please raise your hand in the back, is having a Mega Camp wrap up party at her house um, tomorrow. So uh, if you guys, Meg, who actually runs the team and does everything. Um, <laughs> self proclaimed earlier, you weren't here. She self proclaimed that. I'm just saying. I'm going with what I was told. Um, if, if you guys aren't on the list or if you guys are new to the Market Center and hadn't participated in Mega Camp, um, just make sure you let us know if you do want to come to the event. Um, yes, please. So you didn't have to go to Mega Camp to come to this. Okay. You didn't have to go to Mega Camp to come to this. So anybody who wants to come to the party, just show up at Christy's house. Um, she's got two kegs. Uh, nope. I'm going to write my number on here. So just if you want to come, if you're going to come, just text me your first and last name just so I can get the list. Yeah, we just need a head count for food and beer and wine. It's on the water. What's, what's that view? How many degrees is that view? <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're very blessed. We'd love to share the house with you. Um, it's a lot of fun. We have cornhole. We have um, horseshoes. We have jet skis. We have boats. We have what we need. So just, you know, come out and enjoy it and, and take advantage of it. But please do. If you can come, we'd love to have you just like making notes. We have enough wine, beer. <laughs> it's on a lake. There's plenty of water. <laughs> don't drink that water. <laughs> cool. Awesome. And guys, can we give Christy a round of applause for hosting this party for us? Thank you very much. Because we know we know how Rob gets at these things. Um, no, so okay, that's a great point. So right next to my house, at the end of the cul-de-sac on the left, is a boat ramp area. So I will take that chain down, and if there's no parking on the street, just park and just pull in sideways to allow as many people as possible. But there should be more than enough room to park in, in there on the drive. Just use your e-brake. <laughs> cool. Thank you so much again. Um, all right. Tomorrow. Um, no, Wednesday. Yeah. Tomorrow. Is that tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow. Um, I'm doing a listing presentation class. This is going to be different from Terry's forms class, okay? Where Terry's going to be going over and explaining the forms. I'm going to go over and explain how I do or how I used to do when I was an active agent selling and the, and the little tips and tricks around a listing presentation when you're sitting down talking with the seller, what's gonna help you script wise to get them on board to work with you and some of the tools that Keller Williams offers such as Keller Mortgage, Keller Offers, some of those things that not all the other companies have out there that you can use these tools to your advantage in a listing presentation. That's on Thursday. That day too. Um, <laughs> Today, today is the 22nd. Yep, that's definitely Thursday. Thank you. Um, okay, and then uh, as we know on Thursday, um, Sue is always here. Um, she's in-house all day and she'll be doing her tech Q&A. And then um, we've got agent on duty training. Um, if you guys, that is for the call time desk downstairs. Okay, so if you guys haven't taken that training, you cannot get on the call time desk. 
Um, after that, you do have to shadow as well. Um, also on Friday, uh, Katrina with the Productivity Coaching Program, you do not have to be in the coaching program to come to this class. This is a GPS 411. What's a GPS? It was also known as a 135 before they changed the name to GPS. Somebody. Thank you, Tom. What? Goals, priorities, strategies. Goals, priorities, strategies. Okay. That's why he's agent of the month. Okay. <laughs> so you've got, you've got your overall goal. This is why it was a 135. Your, your goal, your three priorities to achieve that goal. And under each priority, five strategies and how you're going to achieve that. So Katrina is going to sit down or, or she's going to teach the class with you guys on how to go around setting that up. And then the 411, who can not name Tom, tell me what a 411 is. Your annual goal, monthly goal, your weekly goal. There you go. Okay. So your, your annual goal, monthly goal, weekly goals. That's your 411 to ensure that we achieve and hit the goals that are set in your GPS. Um, please. Everyone will walk out with their own individualized GPS. So if you're coming, I will make sure that every single person has a written one. And what should you do with that? Put it in your drawer and forget about it? <laughs> yeah? Maybe that's what most agents do. We'll put it up right in front of your work area so you guys can see it on a daily basis. Now, who wants to see some fireworks fly? Come on the 28th to Katrina and myself are going to be doing objection handling. If nothing, it's going to be entertaining between the two of us. I promise you guys that. Um, I'll also be doing a profit share class the following day. Um, you guys, does that, who participates in the profit share program here? Okay. Does anybody want to share what they got Monday? $174. $174? Awesome. Anybody else? What'd you get? $746. $746. Anybody else? <laughs> Take credit. <laughs> so I, I had uh, one of my bigger profit shares uh, this month. Um, I got $1,079. Um, and who was sitting with me yesterday? I'm trying to remember. Um, I think it was Kim Wilson, actually. And we were going through my profit share tree. And I have 13 people. That's it. And they're at different levels. And the furthest it goes is to level three. So we're going to be teaching that profit share class because you guys want mailbox money, right? Okay. Yes. That, no? <laughs> Anybody? Yes. I'll take it. You guys want mailbox money? Yes. Okay. Yes. Come on. Oof, that was weak. We need to work on that. Come to the profit share class and so we're going to break down profit share all the way down to the percentages so that you guys can see. And guys, if you've taken, oh, I know profit share. I've done it before. Guys, we switched our splits. We switched our splits to an 80-20. And we switched our cap from a 22 to a 16. So profit share looks a little bit different when it comes to our market center right now. So it's really important that you guys get involved in that class, okay? Um, CES presentation is everything. I believe that's Scott Taylor, um, or at least he's the guy who wrote the class. Um, 10 6, we've got a customer service. This is one of the heads of Ritz Carlton, is going to be speaking to how to give a real high level of customer service. You guys, who's been to a Chick-fil-A here? When you say thank you, what do they say? My pleasure. Do you know where they got that from? Ritz -Carlton. The Ritz-Carlton is actually the one that first came up with it. Um, some of you guys know I have a hospitality background. I was in restaurants and hotels for 16 and a half years. Um, I did work for the Ritz-Carlton. You cannot point your finger at the Ritz-Carlton because this is threatening. Whereas this or this is the hospitality thing. They break it down to that detailed when it comes to their customer service. Imagine what you can take out of this class for your customer service with your clients. Um, business planning clinic. Um, who's got their business plan ready to go for next year? Okay, that's why she's a coach. <laughs> all right, um, our very own Ken Temple is gonna be teaching business planning clinic. That's an all day class. Lunch will be provided. It will not be on Zoom. Let me say that again. It will not be on Zoom. Kent wants you here in the class because he believes it does not get the same interaction, and I agree with him. 
Um, Keller offers certification training. Who's Keller certified? Keller offers certified. Tommy Hall, myself, anybody else? Tommy, what's Keller offers? Uh, it is a fantastic tool to have in your tool belt. Uh, it is where uh, Keller Williams has partnered with. We were partnered with OfferPad. We've actually dropped them this year. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> we took, we did our R&D department, rip off and duplicate. We figured it out. We said goodbye to OfferPad. Yeah. So uh, you can uh, make, make an offer uh, for your uh, clients. You know, it's, it's a really good tool. Chris and I have been uh, working with our client or our agents uh, calling uh, FISBOs and, and saying we'll, we'll pay you uh, cash for your home. It's, it's an iBuyer program similar to OfferPad, Open Door, Knock, all these companies that are trying to push the real estate agent out. And yes, I use the word try purposely because we're not going to let them. And Keller offers where you can walk into a listing presentation. I can say, Peter, $400,000 we can list the house for. And here is an instant all cash offer from Keller Williams. And I'll still get a commission. It's a, re it's a reduced commission, but I'll still get a commission off of it. So it's, again, it's like, as Tommy said, it's a great tool to have in your toolbox. Um, DocuSign with Sue, if you guys are having any I'm questions. I'm sorry, before you continue, can we go back to the business um, planning meeting? Is that 10 7? Is that, should that be the correct no, date? Because it seems like everything says September going for instead of October. Business planning clinic. It's October, I promise. Sorry, yeah. I just mistyped. That's just a typo. But it is the 7th, right? No, Rachel, is it the 14th? It's the 14th with um, Kent, but CES is doing one as well, which is 10 7 through 10 8. Gotcha. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the clarification. Is in so, Rachel, is, is the Keller offers 10 7? Yes, sir. That's 10 7. Through 10 8, it's two days. Keller offers, correct? Yeah. Guys, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a list sent out to everybody today with with the corrections. Okay, so there's no confusion. We'll send it out via email. Okay, Rach. It's also on kwconnect.com correctly. But yes. Cool. All right, awesome. We'll go to kw.com. All right, um, we already talked about Christie's party needs and wants. What do you guys need? What do you want? I have a client that's looking for four bedrooms, two baths with some land under two ninety. In Concord, in Harrisburg, or in Hopewell School District. That has not already gone on the market, even though we put in six offers, even coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> so, if anybody has one or are coming soon, please let me know. I'd greatly appreciate it. Two stories. Also. Would this be an opportunity for some new agents to go out and find that home? Maybe send mailers to a neighborhood? Or Circle Prospect. Or Circle Prospect, <laughs> right? What's Circle Prospecting? I don't know. That's why I'm not a production. <laughs> Circle prospecting is where we fall around to a specific neighborhood, something that fits that criteria of a four bedroom um, under 290, you said, right? Um, and in that school district, something that fits into that category. There's no listings in that neighborhood because we know something that price point's going to go really, really fast, and right? I going over those scripts actually this week, Circle Prospecting, and I have the tool for the folks to be coaching. I showed Krista today for the neighborhood description. Cool. What else? Needs and wants. What do you got? Two things. Can we get an update on the transaction coordinator? And is there some way that we can get somewhere to post a rough idea of what our buyers are looking for so that we can lead generate yep. for possible so, listings? Yep. So the where you post is right on our Facebook page. So that would be where I would post for needs and wants if you guys have any. And then um, I'll give you an update on the transaction coordinator that's coming up next. I won't we'll finish with this first. Deb? Okay. Two. Condo in Oakhurst. 215 ish. Okay. You guys can hear at home. Should be hitting in a week. Okay. And then the other one is a challenging one like payments. I'm looking for a master on main condo in Morrisville uh, between 180 and 200. So if anyone knows of any payments, that's coming up. Condo? 
talk to uh, Jennifer uh, Alcazar. How do I say her last name? I'm saying it wrong. Um, she's an ALC member at Mooresville. She lives in a condo complex that's right in that price range because she got one for like 185. She may have something off market coming. Up. Nola, what do you got? For seven months, I have been renting and I need something built between the 1800s and early 1900s with five plus acres under 400,000. Because you know, <laughs> they just fall off trees around here. Sure. <laughs> but if you have anything anywhere in North Carolina or South Carolina, I will happily drive through it just to get these people off of my pit. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Okay. So that's uh, that's unique. That's very unique. They're open to anywhere. There are no restrictions. Just anywhere in North or South Carolina. Okay. Cool. No fixed offers. Yeah, I think I think that would be. But <laughs> it's just a little challenging. It's okay. It's got the has to have a water wheel outside the house. <laughs> um, Don't get her idea. <laughs> <laughs> she went from just chickens to now we need a cow. Please God. <laughs> Tommy Hall, what do you got, bud? Hey, I've got buyers uh grub specific 1.2 and 1.3 million in the point in Mooresville. 4,800 to 5,500 square feet. They're also sellers, and they have an incredible home in the Sundown subdivision, which is uh, has uh, water access, uh, four bedrooms, two and a half baths, 3,400 square feet, 475. Also have a buyer, a uh, young family looking 750 to 850 in Valentine. Uh, so, you know, four bedrooms, three, three baths at least minimum uh, for those guys. Gotcha. That's it. Cool. Awesome. Chris. I'm talking to a couple sellers. They are not listing yet. Um, but a couple of waterfront properties of um, four to eight thousand square feet. So we're talking, you know, pretty good pricing point. Um, also a lot for a teardown on Florida Lake for one point three. Um, so if you know you anybody might want to talk. who is in Cornelius. Um, so I love that if you you know if you have someone who's looking for waterfront, I've been talking to them. Awesome, cool. What else? What else? My buyers realize at one point two, one point three, they're not going to get waterfront in the point. So you know, the seed thing doesn't have to be waterfront. Gotcha. Okay. They may get a waterfront fixer upper. Yeah. <laughs> Tommy wants nothing to do with that. All right. Um, so, James, thanks for asking the question. I um, want to talk a little bit about the transaction coordinator. So, those of you guys that don't know, who knows what a transaction coordinator is, first of all? What's a transaction coordinator? Claudia, that's a transaction coordinator. There we go. What does a transaction coordinator do, guys? Coordinate <laughs> transactions. Can you tell she's a transaction coordinator? Um, so one of the things that we've been talking about as a leadership team is to run this office like a massive team. And so one of the first things I did when I built my team was I put a transaction coordinator in place. I wanted somebody to take the paperwork off of my plate. So if you guys go and open up page 173 of your MREA book, because I know you all have one, right? Okay. You, <laughs> you will see the four fundamental models. And underneath one of the fundamental models, there is what we call the 10-20-20, okay? Now, the 10-20-20 is a breakdown of 50 hours of real estate, 50 hours put into a real estate transaction. They're broken down like this. 10 hours is for client care, 20 hours is for lead generation, and 20 hours is for administrative staff. So what we're doing is we're taking that administrative chunk, and our goal is to take it off your plate. Because if I can give you guys 20 hours back in a transaction, you guys can go and get more transactions. Now, there is going to be a fee for this, okay? Just so everyone's aware, the, the list and put into MLS is $125. To take it from under contract to close is $250. Those will be a fee that will be paid by the agents, okay? Now, if you guys go look for a transaction coordinator right now, to do these activities is about $500, 
okay? So it's a discount, so it's a win for the agents. It's also going to be a win for the transaction coordinators, as we know at Keller Williams, win-win, no deal, right? So it's gonna be a win for them because it's gonna get them in front of people that they normally wouldn't be in front of, which is why they're doing it at a discounted price point for us. And then the overage that is gonna come out of this is actually gonna go in to pay our expenses here in the market center. And what happens if we have lower expenses? We have higher profit share, profit share for you guys. So it's really a win-win-win across the board. Uh, we have been, and I wanna give a huge shout out to Katrina for helping me through the interview process. We have interviewed, I don't even know how many people at this point now, nine, thank you. Um, that's why I relied on her for this. Um, and we actually, um, we, we think we found our person. We're gonna put it in front of our leadership group um, this uh, next month for our meeting. And hopefully we'll be introducing um, our new transaction coordinator at um, October 6th, I think is a Tuesday, at our next team meeting. So this is an optional thing. You guys don't have to use it. I can feel some of you guys going, $250, no, I can't do that, right? I promise you, if it will give you 20 hours back to go get more business, it is well worth 250 bucks. And I see a lot of you experienced veterans nodding your head in the back. Um, one second. Um, and so that is how we're moving forward. I, the goal was to roll it out October 1. They will be here, or will, as long as they go through the approval process with the rest of the leadership, we hopefully will have somebody here by next team meeting um, to discuss what they're going to be bringing and services provided. Any, I'm sorry, you had something you want to throw in there? I just want to throw this out. The year that my team in Fayetteville went from 101 transactions, we hired two transaction coordinators, one of them was buying some, and we went to 131. So guys, it takes a lot of leverage off from you, and it's less expensive than a salary administrative. They're amazing. You have, I'm telling you, the contracts close, a lot of us don't like paperwork. I hate paperwork and I'm not good at it. Yeah. I'm willing to pay somebody to do that so I can concentrate on getting more done. That's my plan. And, and me in the same right, when I was an individual agent, my biggest year was about 8.8 .8 million. I put a transaction coordinator and she did a couple more full-time admin stuff in place. And my business went to $11.3 million in just one year. So um, yes, it's, it's can hugely help you guys grow your business. I found that people want one of two things. They want time or money. This is going to give you time. And if you want to take that time to go get more deals, you'll get more money. If you want to take that time and go be with your family, by all means, go and do that as well. Any questions? Anybody in Zoom land? Questions on transaction coordinator? Deal falls through, they don't charge the fee, correct? If the deal falls through, they do not charge the fee, correct. And this is for North Carolina only or South Carolina as well? Um, okay, yeah. So um, to be determined. Yeah, depends on which one. Any other I'm sorry? Um, no, I was going to say I found one in South Carolina only. She used, used to be the assistant to compliance for Fort Mill. Okay, cool. Um, what else? Any questions on the transaction coordinator? PJ, well, will that, they... I'm sorry, Susie, what? I was just wondering if they'd be available in the evening and on weekends or if it's just Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. Um, so they're... I'm not going to speak to that right now, um, but uh, I don't know what you would need a transaction coordinator for on the weekends. I'm trying to think of a situation, but we can have a, a, a private conversation about it if need be. They are, they, are, they are here to transact. They are not a coach. They are not a mentor. They are not here to tell you how to do your deals. They are not here to negotiate. They are simply here to push paperwork. Somebody else had a question? Nope. Once, twice, three times. Yes, actually. Will there only be one transaction coordinator handling closings for the entire office? There, well, the one that we're talking to right now is a team of actually two transaction coordinators. And so there will be, if that's the one we end up going with, there will be two different people that will be assisting with that. And that will not be, they will be part of our leadership group yet that does not change anything for you, Danielle, when it comes to um, Terry being compliance seat and all that. Does that answer your question? Oh, yes. I was just wondering because your average TC can only handle about 
20, 25 max contracts at a time? Um, they're currently have 90 pending between the two of them right now. And they feel that they can handle about 200. And I personally have used one for years in the past. So, um, yeah. Any other questions? So they wouldn't do the offer to purchase if say you nope. were out with client. Okay. Gotcha. Nope. They are oh. licensed, but that's not their role. That's your job as an agent. I'm sorry. Can you say that again? They would, they do not do offer to purchase. They will not write the offer for your client. That is your job as a real estate agent. Again, a transaction coordinator is to take it from contract through closing. They're there to do the, the book, the inspections for you. They're there to talk to the lender, talk to the attorney, make sure if you need to change an addendum, um, Rob sends over an uh, due diligence repair request. Terry says, no, we're gonna do cash in lieu of repairs. So we need to switch to an agreement to amend. They're gonna be facilitating your paperwork. They are licensed, but they are not the acting real estate agent on the deal. And to protect your licenses, you don't want them doing that. What else? Like I said, hopefully in two weeks, they'll be here in house to answer any and all questions that you guys may have. So thank you guys for being patient with this. Again, the goal of this is to really take some stuff off of your plate. Again, it is optional. You do not have to use it. Um, yet I think it'll be a great ad addition to your business. Okay. Let me jump back here. How oh, good I'm getting in technology. I'm really proud of myself. Oh my PJ. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right. Um, Chris McFall, are you on? Okay. He is, he is on via phone. I'm not sure if he can hear you though. Chris? All right, Chris, if you can chime in, we'll come back to you with Hamadi. Rick Garitano, talk to us, buddy. Hit that unmute button. How about now? How about now? There you, you are. There you are. Wrong loop, but yes, very good. Anyway, my name is Rick Garitano. I'm with Carefree Carpets and Floors. I've known PJ for a number of years from the Valentine situation and everywhere else. Um, thank you for letting me be a part of this conversation. You guys, all you new realtors that are part of this new group of yours, you are blessed. And all of you birthday people, wow, somebody in September and October, that's great. Um, Carefree Carpets and Floors, two showrooms, one in Valentine, um, another one in Charlotte on Monroe Road from A to Z, from builder grades all the way to designer grades. We, we do custom area rugs. We do sand and finish work of pre-finished and unfinished hardwoods. We do carpet from builder grade to designer grade. We have luxury vinyl plank. I have pallets of it. I have 50 shades of beige carpet. I need your help. Please refer me. Uh, why carefree carpets versus anyone else? Because I carry stock. I buy better, I sell better, uh, more affordable. Uh, they're quick for your clients, for you. Special discounts for your own personal home. Uh, there is nothing on the floor that I don't do. I do wood repairs. I do tile repairs. Anything to do with flooring, call Rick, please. I'd love to help you. Um, I'm all over the greater Charlotte area doing what I can, um, and I will handle your customers with care. Thank you, Rick Garitano, Carefree Carpets and Floors. Thanks, Rick. And uh, I can give him a testimonial okay. that, yeah. One more thing. I've known PJ. I've done some of his houses as, as well. Tell him, PJ. Come right, on. That's what I was just going to say. I was just going to give you a testimonial. Um, Rick has done there some you. of my, uh, my personal home. He has also done um, investment properties for me. If any of you guys um, invest in real estate as well, we all know the cost when a tenant moves out. Um, so, And he did give me a great discount last time um, on my house in Indian Trail. So thank you for that. Um, top notch work in and out really fast. Um, so kudos to you, buddy. Thanks. Appreciate you all. All right. Thank you so much. Did we get Chris from Hamadi? It looks like he dropped off. He's probably having some technical difficulties. Okay. No worries. All right. And 
Last but not least, do you guys know we always thank our primary sponsors that we have, McNaught and Clements, LKN Title, and Carolina's Home and Auto, our MSA agreements with them. Thank you for our core vendors. Um, if you guys are not on social media, take a picture of this, write it down, whatever you need to do to get on our social media sites. Um, as I said, Amber sends out invites to this stuff. Um, get involved with it, guys, so you can see what we've got going on. And feel free to post your open houses there, your broker opens there. Um, Rachel does a lot of birthday announcements there. So um, get on with that. Um, other than that, that's our show today. So um, any final thought, Dr. Phil moments, questions, comments, concerns? Dr. Phil was a show man. Thank you. She called me out on my texting earlier, right? It's <laughs> <laughs> <That's> ages. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> ages. <laughs> guys, uh, thank you guys so much for being here. It's great to have a full house again. So guys, make it a great day. Go sell some houses. I should. I, know. I need something. <laughs> Plan on sitting in your spot.